one woman for 21 days. They have no clothes. I do really agree. Like in some of the harshest environments on the planet. Ah! In the northeastern part of Croatia, close to the Danube River, lies the untamed wetland of Kopacki Rit, swarming with hundreds of species of mosquitoes. And at night, golden jackals, the largest of the species, will be on the hunt, stealthy, traveling in small packs, and ready to ambush unsuspecting prey. My gut's telling me, what the hell are we doing out here? We should go back to the hotel. I grew up in a kind of a hippie commune in London. <laughs> and there was always a pack of feral kids to run around, tree houses to jump out of, fires to start. Then when I was a teenager, I got to learn bushcraft and teach bushcraft to the younger kids. Then I went to the tracker school in the States and started learning Stone Age primitive skills. You know, the idea was, can we learn enough skills and awareness that we can go out into the bush with nothing? The same make fire. I am a field data collector. I can identify most plants in the field. A few years ago, I found myself stranded in the desert. I had no gear, I had no water, I had no food. I had no idea where I was. I had to think about whether or not I was gonna die. Luckily, I found my way home. That was the trigger for me to get the warriorhood mentality going. It's time to go do it. Being naked in the swamp with a stranger sounds initially horrible, <laughs> but we're animals. We weren't meant to have all this stuff. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I'm Stacy. I'm, I'm Lee. Very nice to meet you, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And, um, yeah. Well, here we are. We're going to do this yeah, thing, right? We're going to survive. We're going to do well. I hope we survive, yeah. 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 She seems to me to be a um, like Scandinavian Viking wild warrior woman. Along with a hand drill fire kit, Lee and Stacy have both been allowed one survival item. This is what I brought. Nice. It's a Nepalese cookery. Did you go to Nepal to get it? No. No, I had it sent to me. Yeah, much more convenient. <laughs> right, right. I brought us. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, I, I get the party started and bring some pot. He's rad. So far. It's hot. There's a lot of bugs. I'm going to mud up, I think. OK. I got this pasty Just white skin from Australian winter. I have paid so much money to do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best vacation I've ever had. <laughs> Holy hell, there is water oh, there. Wow. Oh, wow, water, water, water. It's very swampy looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly the turquoise waters of no. some rivers. But at least there's stuff for fish to hide under. All right, it is hot. This is stagnant, slimy swamp water. If we don't get any fire, we don't get water. That's really serious. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Check out my hand. Ow. Oh my god, what is happening right here? This is not the game plan at all. Feeling kind of pissed. I feel slightly frustrated and it's only the first day. I had an awesome idea for these amorpha bushes. I was wondering about maybe making baskets out of, to put over our faces to stop mosquitoes on the face and then cover the rest of our bodies with sand overnight. Still doesn't fix our problem of water. What I'm thinking is that we just resign ourselves to no water tonight. Water, fire, we'll go straight to shelter, basically. I had never heard nothing like this before, but I'm going with it. I'm very skeptical about this, Lee. What would you prefer? The fire. Yeah. <laughs> Plan is we make fire our priority tomorrow. Yeah. Ah, George, what's so? Pretty good. I don't like the idea of sleeping naked underground with no fire, no water, till morning. Oh my God, the mosquitoes oh, are heinous, no. man. Um, <laughs> that is horrible. Yeah. It's really, really, really bad. 
trying to walk so that the mosquitoes will leave us alone. Oh my God, so itchy. Now that the, the long dark night is over, I'm actually starting to feel like I'm having fun right now. I'm really concerned about your hand. I'm going to help. Okay. Oh, I it up. Oh, we were so close. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. We got it, we got so it. Close. And that is how you make fire in the bush. You make fire. Hey, that was a great job. That was awesome. That was total team. I feel so relieved and this is so incredible and I've never been so excited in my life to see somebody make fire. <laughs> and I get to drink water now. How is it? Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We can drink water. Now we need to find food. I've been watching the fish and I've noticed that they do sometimes come quite close to the shore. So what I'm wondering about is making a little fish trap where we just plant stakes in the mud and see if we can kind of corral some of those predator fish. I'm just going to stroll up the beach and check my fish trap, see if I've managed to secure any calories in there. Yo. Tap on Success. Little guy. I'm pretty happy about that. And if we can get some more big fish in there, I'll be even happier. Oh, look how cute. Yeah, I flicked it out and he was asleep. He was so fast asleep, I thought he might be diseased or dead. And then he suddenly woke up in my hands. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I know, thank that was you. Great. Yay! Yeah! So hopefully the first of many. I'm gonna build up this fire nice and big and hot and make nettle and fish stew. Yum yum, brekkie. And onto the fire. And we've got some water boiling on the fire. I'm gonna go just grab a little bit more of firewood. How long? <laughs> nice how, how long? Still in the garden. Gonna take her now? Okay. Hey, if I don't see you. She's been my companion, my partner, my support. I feel I just feel so bad. <laughs> to avoid contamination, Stacy is taken to a base camp where medics will assess the severity of her burns. I don't wanna leave. She didn't want to leave at all. I feel so bad for her. I don't think they're going to let her back again. If she does, fantastic. But if she doesn't, then... My medical opinion is that you should probably go to a hospital to get it cleaned and properly taken care of. How are you doing? I'm in, I'm in it. Are I'm you? in it, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Doctor just told me if I don't get infected, I'll be all right. I'm glad you came back. <laughs> Having Stacy back has meant that I have someone to talk with, to joke with, to laugh with. It's turned it back into sort of a human challenge again. It's like, it is this, this community. We're a little tribe of two. If we could catch a big, fat, juicy fish, then that would really make me feel a lot better about being here. Stacy is such a trooper, but she's in a lot of pain. It's obvious that those burns really required her to be still and to rest up and get food. Food is really important at this point. I think that he's really worried about me right now. It's like I am having to deal with a burn. This has been crappy. If I'm gonna peel, I need to eat today. 
Wait a minute. Whoa. What the hell? Wow. It's dead already, but I wonder how. That's a lot of calories right there. It smells great. He smells fresh. The timing of this fish just couldn't be better. Before we found that fish, I was feeling low energy, cold, a bit scattered, and now everything seems brighter and more doable. Nettle and fish stew a la campfire. OK. Oh. My dog. Holy crap. My dog. Oh, wow. It tastes like it's fit for the gods. It tastes like angel flesh marinated in ambrosia. <laughs> this is my favorite fish ever. I'm kind of nursing my uh, nasty boo-boo. And I'm going to use some of this moss to kind of help heal it. Break up the plant cells with your teeth. <laughs> Chew it up a bit. Oh, yeah. What's going on? If the bacteria from her wound uh, comes into blood, it will get to any part of her body, which leads to shock and then death. If it keeps getting worse, I could lose my leg. I'll go to the hospital. I can't risk losing a limb or dying. I'm very disappointed. And I'm very ashamed <sighs> that I have to go home with my head hot, head down. It will only get worse. I would have made it. And that's like the worst thing ever, is that I knew I could have done it. And I can't now. I don't want to leave. Why not? We went through so many tough nights and <laughs> crises and difficult things where most people would have tapped out and you just kept trucking. As far as I'm concerned, you've done the challenge. For whatever reason, your challenge stops here now. I've got so much love for you. I love you too. You're a rock star. The rest of this challenge is for you, Stacey. I'm gonna do this for you. It's really different to when Stacey was around and time flew by. It's bringing up a lot of anxiety for me. Rage, grief, and finding myself wondering, am I gonna have enough energy, enough strength to walk out of here? So just looking to take it a day at a time, a moment at a time. One breath at a time. I'm starting to feel the burn. The hunger is starting to set in. Every time I reached out, he'd just stay a little bit ahead. And I did manage to touch him, but as soon as he felt my fingers, he'd, he'd dart out again. Lee has eaten very little food in 12 days and his physical state is quickly deteriorating. I'm feeling like deep emotions stirring. My brain trying to explain to myself why it's not that bad after all. <laughs> there are times when I'm just like, oh my God, please make it stop. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. His brain, starved of essential proteins and fats, is consuming its own cells, sending him into a state of anxiety and depression. Feeling a little bit stir crazy with all this time and space. I'm all about tribe. My family, my friends, they are my tribe, and I live to serve my tribe. Without Stacy here to chat, the time seems to pass a lot slower, and it's much easier for me to get caught up in my own thoughts and my own emotions. Here comes the sun. Du -du -du -du. There's just silence. I can hear that silence starting to, to, to boom in my ears. I can really feel I'm starting to eat into my energy reserves. And with that, there's this feeling of vulnerability, like stuff being stripped away. Suddenly, out of nowhere, I'm feeling massive grief. It is the morning of day 20. After the last few days, big emotional release. I woke up and I felt so soft and just kind of receptive. It's day 21. <laughs> it's 
Stacy having to leave so suddenly brought up a lot of underlying emotions in me. It's just given me this warm feeling, this strength to now go and find this mysterious extraction point. Under the canopy of the forest, devoid of sunlight, temperatures have dropped to a frigid 58 degrees. Weak and malnourished, Lee now faces a much higher risk of developing hypothermia. It feels quite cold. I'm on goosebumps already. Using deep breathing to try and boost my metabolism, get my body temperature back up again. Hypothermia, things can happen. We can start to get a bit dizzy or make bad decisions. <laughs> Made it. The Danube is famous for dangerous currents. It's been an absolutely unique experience. Grueling and harrowing at times, transcendent at other times. Blaze, my daughter, she gave me a gift getting to come on, on this adventure. When she was around when I was her dad, I lost my appetite for adventures. There was nowhere else I really wanted to be. It has opened new doors for me, and, and this adventure has been, been one of those things. I've been married for six years to an amazing woman called Gina. About two years ago, we lost our three-year-old daughter, Blaze, to cancer. Going through that experience, you know, my life falling apart, this, this child who was everything to me. She spent um, uh, two weeks on a, on a machine that was keeping her alive until we realised that um, there was nothing that we could do for her and we were going to have to switch the machine off. Gina and I, my wife, we've been talking about having trying for another child again but we've also been both of us kind of feeling like maybe there's still too much grief around that but being out here and having all this space to feel everything and to heal a lot of stuff I've sort of cleared enough space around um, my grief with, with, with Blaze. I feel like more than ever I have acceptance and peace around our daughter dying that um, I can cherish my memories of Blaze and also feel like I can and really want to be a dad again for, for another child. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs>